Welcome to our daily devotion. You are here today to hear the Word of God with His message, promises, command, warning, and application for us. Faith is to believe God's Word is the very essence of receiving the promises that He says we can have. As the scripture says in Romans chapter 10 verse 17, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It gives us knowledge on how faith comes, by taking in God's word. Our word for today is taken in the book of John chapter 1 verses 38 to 39. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. Message Limit not the Lord. Remove all that hinders and any limitation we put into this life. For the Lord will move no matter the circumstance, no matter who we are or what we have done. He can use the worst of us to display His glory. He can do all things and do it through anyone there is. Everyone has that potential to serve Him. Actually, everyone is created for Him promise. Choose to spend time and seek the Lord. Remove the hesitations or boundaries of Him moving in this life. He can do anything through us and in us no matter how messed up we are. He has a great plan for us. No one else would know that apart from you and your God. He knows where you should go and bit by bit He is showing you the way. Command Trust in the Lord for he knows what's the best for you. We may not see it but he will definitely never go back on his words. He is God and no matter how the world looks at it he is the same yesterday, today and forever. As he was able to do things like no other before he can do it again and again and again for you and for me. Warning! We will have so many hesitations in life because we wanted to be in control. But we can never do that as the enemy is too much for us to handle. Eventually, we would just be consumed by it and fall. We can never go on without the Lord. He is the only one who knows the way and He is freely giving it to us. We just need to accept it. More so He has sent His Son, His and only Son to show us how it is done. And know the Spirit to remind us and to explain to us how it is done. For even when the Son was here flesh and blood and all we missed understanding. Thanks be to the Holy Spirit for helping us understand. Application Remove all hesitations and all that it is the hinders. Nothing should be placed in between us and our God. He should freely move and control this life entirely not just parts but all. Obedience is not required of us but total obedience. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for blessing us with your message of hope and love today. With the Holy Spirit working in our hearts, we shall grow in our faith and ability to face unafraid each new day of our lives. How precious to us are your thoughts, O oh God. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you that we can live in your light and walk in your truth. May the things that you have revealed and thoughts that we have shared today dwell in our hearts and stir us into action. 
we ask all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. And the continues fellowship, power, and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen.